I would advise everyone watching this video to buckle your seatbelts and get all the children out of the room because this is going to be one of those Mario slightly goes on a rant, slightly might use some inappropriate words and phrases, rant slash discussion video. And uh, it's going to be a rocky road full of potholes and general grievances. Today, 12 hours ago, Bandai announced more regionals for July to August. Okay. Uh, those of you might think that's actually a really good thing. And, you know, you know, I'm just going to I'm just going to show you. I'm going to let the Bandai mouth do the talking for me here. They said, hello, Tamers. Competitive Digimon card regionals ascend to the next level of regionals. Sure, they do. Anyway, tickets for all July events are currently planned to go on sale April 30th at 9 a.m. for each region's... Uh, yeah, okay, great. So, for North America, we have Carta Magica Online, July 15th. We have Play TCG Offline, the 22nd. And we have a PPG Online one, July 29th. That is it for July. Uh, Latin America has two, an online and an offline. Oceania has two, an offline and an online. And Europe has one online, August 12th. And that's 2023 July regionals. Now, we're going to go back to my face. You see my face here? Okay, what's the problem here? Why am I making this video? I am making this video for several reasons. I want you guys, first of all, to leave in the comments section how you feel about the, I'd say, small number of regionals. You, you can pick your poison, the lack of in-person events, the lack of regionals, the lack of store championship invites, giving you invites to nationals, making it so you can only play in what appears to be the decreasing amount of regionals compared to last year. You can do whatever you want. Leave it in the comments. Like, subscribe to the notification bell, smash potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos come out. And I'm just going to start with a big old what the hell is going on here. You know, we had more regionals last year. Not by a lot, but we did have more regionals last year. We also had more in-person regionals last year. You know, I, <laughs> I, I, it's hard to articulate the, the verbiage I want to use to express how I'm thinking about this right now. Because I'm fine. I got my invite first try. I'm that good. But not everyone has the same luxury. Not everyone could even play in the freaking regionals. You know what I mean? Because if you got to work on some weekend, if you work every other weekend, you, you know what I mean? Like, the, these regionals were well-placed to an extent, but not super well-placed. But anyway. Anyway. So, we just finished three regionals. Those three regionals here started us off uh, for, the, for, the, for the season. Three. Three. Before I go further, I decided to do a little bit of digging just to make sure I had my facts straight uh, when it came to the regionals. Um, May, there are three regionals for North America. I'm just going to stick North America for this one. A Core TCG Online May 13th, a Top Cut Online May 27th, and a PPG Offline uh, May 27th, May 28th. This Core TCG one, was it wrapped? I wrapped up in the April bundle. Uh, that's t literally today. Oh, well, God, well. Anyway, so three regionals in April, three regionals in May, and now July, once again, only three regionals. Do they want a smaller nationals? Do they want to push people to One Piece and BSS? They're trying to say, okay, guys, you know, uh, sorry, we're going to do less Digimon regionals this year. But if you want to get more Bandai card action in your face exploding all over you, you should definitely consider playing in a One Piece or BSS event. That way you get um, all our Bandai stuff all over you and uh, you, get, you get some action. That's just ludicrous. Because some people, like Dan Vang would say, love Digimon. They really do. And many people are all pissy because of the lack of regionals. 
Like, I'm getting messages. I got messages today with this. People saying, oh, you're, there's not going to be any regionals this year. Oh, my God. I don't know if we're going to the nationals. I don't know. It, it's getting out of hand, guys. And while we're on the topic of invites, I, I again, I will say this. You know, I will praise Bandai when I think they do something right. And I will dump all over them if I think they're doing something wrong. And I did praise Bandai for removing invites from store championships because I felt it was kind of cheese to uh, win a locals and go to nationals. You know what I mean? I don't think that that's healthy for anyone because those people that might win locals, right, that maybe don't really deserve to go to nationals, if I use that term, will go to nationals, get 03 crushed, and then they wasted a trip and then they're just all upset and it's a bad experience for them. So I'm, I'm actually a really big fan of that. But it has to be supplemented by more regionals. Like, more than freaking three a month. And now for my biggest gripe of all, the lack of in-person events. I do want to shout out PPG for doing one in May, and I want to shout out Play TCG for doing one in July. That's wonderful, and I'm glad they're happening. A little far from Canada, but I'm glad they're happening. So people can go if they want to and play Digimon with other real people. Like, wow, it's like we did that before COVID or something. So that's that's really nice. I, but what are all the online events? Like, there's not they're not even they're not even doing anything. Like, two online regionals is not enough, you know. And, and like. If you go to the IRL regional, like, like, let's say you go to uh, the PPG one in May, you're forfeiting your spot for an online regionals too. So you can't even max out your amount of regional like uh, participations, right? You got to choose one or the other. Uh, you're screwing yourself. You're, you're, you're removing yourself of one chance to get that invite if you're grinding regionals for the sake of getting invites. No, for real, the lack of regionals is disgusting. It's a shame. It's a crime. It should be illegal. It's absolutely not a good thing for the community at all. I am afraid they're doing this because they want to push through other card games. And by pissing people off with Digimon and by giving them less time to play, it will make them people upset. And yes, it will convince some people to play other card games so Bandai is still getting the money. But it's going to make people... Like, it's just going to bother people. Like, is that what they're going for? Bothering people? Like, I'm bothered. I have, I'm have. i part of the demographic that really has no interest in One Piece or um, BSS. So I'm getting railroaded, anal raped, and abused because I want to play more Digimon and I can't. It's kind of just not a good feeling to be a Digimon player right now. And the big part that really irks me, grinds my gears, it does not tickle me in my funny place, is regionals are free money, and I do not understand why there aren't more regionals. Because they are free money. And when I say free money, they're free money, okay? The, the TO will take their, take their uh, you know, their entries, 512 entries. They'll cap out no problem. They'll take all that entry money, okay? Out of all the entry money, they need to cover some judges. They need to cover commentators. They need to cover um, shipping expenses to ship the prizing to people. And maybe another person on the side to help run things or two. That's it. That's it. That's literally it. And what are regional? I don't even remember. Like $30 each? If you take $512 US, multiply by 30, it's $15,360. Imagine how much they net by doing these regional events. So it boggles my mind inside and out as to why they can't do more. And I assume I assume a cut goes to Bandai. I assume. I can't. I've never done one, so I don't know. I assume that Bandai gets a cut from the regionals. They would have to, to make up manufacturing. Whatever. Okay, sure. I assume they get a cut. That's fine. Why aren't there more? Like, it doesn't make sense. It makes no sense. A company can walk away with ten grand, and they don't do more. And I, I just don't get it. It it blows my mind. There's a running theory that yes, Bandai has, is restricting tos from doing X number of events. You can only do Y number of events, 
and maybe they split that with their other One Piece BSS. Maybe they're saying, you know, you can only do one Digimon event, one One Piece event, one BSS event per month. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, that's information that'll probably never be made public. If it is, that'd be great. But I'm pretty sure it's somewhere, something like that. Uh, so, yes, the, the TOs are still making money, right? If they do hold, you know, even one regional event a year, one One Piece event, sorry, one Digimon event a month, one One Piece event a month, because BSS is really limited. Let's just say it's a two. It's $20,000, assuming that it costs 30 bucks for entry and they pay staff, whatever. At least. It's it just, I do not understand. I, and I'm not the only person complaining about online regionals and no lack of regionals either. A hundreds of people, thou, I, I don't know if I'm going to say thousands, definitely at least hundreds are complaining about it. People, though, don't care. Like, they're still going to play because they still have to play. Even though people complain, 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 complain. It, they, they, don't, they don't care for some reason. They, because they're going to get your money anyway, right? That's what it comes down to. It comes down to the bottom dollar. They get your money no matter how much they screw you. They still get your money because you still like Digimon and they know that. Like, I'm not going to stop spending money on Digimon because, uh, you know, they have less regionals. Even if for some reason I get banned. Let's say I just get banned tomorrow. Let, let's say it happens. I'm still going to spend money on the game. Why? Because it's fun. And because I make content and it's enjoyable, blah, blah, blah. It's still fun. You know what I mean? I, I The game is enjoyable. BT12, maybe not so much. But, like, the game as a whole is enjoyable. BT11, uh, post ban list format, even Ultimate Cup format, were fun events of Digimon. They were good formats. They were healthy formats. I really have nothing else to add to the topic. I'm. I, I, we'll probably rant about this again in a few months. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, but I do think what's happening is effectively highway robbery. I don't like it at all. If anyone wants to like, give me some information as to what's going on, you know, you can message me. There's like countless ways to get a hold of me. Please do that. Please let me know what's going on. And guys, let it know. Let people know in the comments. Maybe Bandai will see this video. Maybe, maybe they'll wake up. I don't, I doubt it. But, you know, we've seen Bandai respond to criticism before and they've adjusted their ways before. So hopefully if they see this and enough people complain about it, maybe they'll do something. We've seen it before. All we can do is hope that they do it again.